Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Today, let us discuss a concept called time and work. Now, in this chapter, what are the important points we must know and why should you learn this topic? Now, this topic is uh, very important for written test. Now, what is tested in this uh, topic? Now, this topic tests the analytical skills of an aspirant. Now, what are the basic points that we must learn to solve this, so to solve the problems in this chapter? Now, the first thing is we have to assume the total work as one. And second thing is we use the concept called LCM to solve the problems in this chapter. Now, let us start with one basic problem in this chapter. Now, let us try to understand what is given in this question. A can complete a work in 32 days. Now, what is the time taken by A to complete one fourth of the work? Now, what do you mean by one fourth? If you divide the total work into four parts, to do one part, how much time will he take? That is the question. Now, total work is completed in 32 days. That is to do four parts, the time taken is 32 days. Then to do one part, how many days will he take? So, the solution for this problem will be one fourth of 32, which is eight days. So, A will be completing one fourth of the work in eight days. Now, let us discuss one more basic problem which we use while solving the problems in this chapter. Now, let us try to understand the question. A completes three-fifth of a work in six days. How many days will A take to complete the total work? Now, three-fifth of a work. It means if you divide the total work into five parts, to do three parts, he takes six days. The question is to do the complete work, how many days will he take? Now, here the complete work is five parts. Now, if to do three parts of the work, he takes six days. Then to do one part, he takes two days. And we know that the total work is divided into five parts. So, to complete the total work, that is five parts, he should be taking 10 days. So, the total work will be completed in 10 days or instead of doing like this, you can solve this problem in another way. To do three parts, he takes six days. Then to do 5 parts, he takes how many days? 5 into 6 by 3, 3 twos, 5 into 2, 10 days. Now, these are the two basic points which we generally use to solve the problems in this chapter. Now, let us go to the next problem in this chapter. A can complete a work in 18 days and B can complete the same work in 24 days. Now, this is the basic information about A and B. Now, the problem starts. The problem is both A and B start the work together, but A quits after working for 6 days. Now, if you clearly understand this question, A is working only for 6 days. Further, how many days will B take to complete the remaining work? That is, after A quits, how many days will B take to complete the remaining work? Now, how to answer this question in a very simple way? Now, if you analyze this question completely, we will come to know that A is working only for 6 days. Now, work done by A in 1 day will be 1 by 18. And in 6 days, he will be doing 6 by 18th of the work. Now, 6 by 18 is nothing but 1 third. So, in that 6 days, A has done 1 sixth of the work. Then how much work did B do? Now, when I say A has done 1 third of the work, that means out of 3 parts, he is doing 1 part. So, how much work did B do? Definitely, B will be doing 2 third. 
that means out of uh, three parts b is doing two parts and a is doing one part out of three parts now b to complete the total work he takes 24 days then to do two third of the work he takes how many days it is two third of 24 which is 16 days it means b worked totally for 16 days but this is not what is asked in the question now what is asked in the question both a and b started the work together but a quits after working for six days so together they have been working for six days further from there onwards how many days will b take to complete the remaining work so definitely your answer should be 16 minus 6 which is 10 days so b will be completing the remaining work in 10 days now let us discuss one more problem in this chapter Now, if you look into the question carefully, A can complete a work in 12 days and B can complete the same work in 20 days. Now, this is the initial information about both A and B. Now, the problem starts. Now, the problem is both A and B start the work together, but A quits after working for few days. So, who is the person who is working from first day till last day? Obviously, it is B. Now, the next information is that after how many days did A quit if the work is completed in 15 days? Now, the given information is that the total work is completed in 15 days and both A and B started the work together and A quit after working for few days. So, definitely B is a person who is working for all 15 days. Now, let us solve the question. Now, we know the complete information about B. B's one day work will be 1 by 20 and he is the person who is working from first day till last day. That is B is working for 15 days. Now, in 15 days, how much work will B do? So, work done by B in 15 days. 15 by 20 which is 3 fourth. So, B has been working for all 15 days. In 15 days work is completed but in this 15 days B has done only 3 fourth of the work but work is completed. Now who is doing the other work? So definitely it is done by A. Now B has done 3 parts out of 4 parts then definitely A has done 1 part out of 4 parts. So to do complete work A takes 12 days then to do 1 fourth of the work how many days will he take? 1 fourth of 12 3 days. So, A worked for 3 days and he quit. Now, let us discuss the next question in this chapter. Now, let us discuss the next question in this chapter. A can complete a work in 12 days. A started the work alone and after 2 days B joined him to help him complete the work. If the total work is completed in 8 days, then in how many days will B alone complete the total work? Now, if you analyze this question correctly, A alone can complete the work in 12 days, but A started the work and after 2 days B joined him and the total work is completed in 8 days. Question is, in how many days will B alone complete the total work? To answer this question, first of all, we must know for how many days did B work here. Now, we know that B joined after working for 2 days and the total work is completed in 8 days. So, B is working only for 6 days and in that 6 days, we must know how much work did B do. For that, we must know how much work did A do and for that, we must know for how many days did A work. Now, definitely we know that A has started the work and he is a person who is there from the first day till the last day and the work is completed in 8 days. So, let us start with A. 
now work done by a in one day is 1 by 12 and he is the person who is working from first day till last day so a is working for all eight days and in that eight days a will be doing 8 by 12 which is two third of the work that is if you divide the total work into three parts he will be doing two parts then who is the person who did the other one part obviously it is b now b has done one third of the work in six days because b joined two days after the work started so b is working only for six days now to do one third of the work if he takes six days then to do the total work he takes how many days now one third that is to do one part out of three parts he takes six days three parts total work is three parts to do one part if he takes six days then to do three parts which is the total work he will be taking 18 days so b alone will complete the total work in 18 days now let us discuss the next question in this chapter a can complete a work in 20 days and b can complete the same work in 25 days a started the work alone and after few days b joined him to help him complete the work after how many days did b join if the work is completed in 16 days now let us try to analyze this question first and then solve the question in a very simple way now if you look into the question the initial information about a and b a can complete a work in 20 days and b can complete the same work in 25 days the individual information about a and b now the problem starts now the problem is a started the work alone and after few days b joined him to help him complete the work so definitely who is the person who is working from first day till last day definitely a is a person who is working from first day till last day and in the question it is given the total work is completed in 16 days and we need to find out after how many days did b join and if the work is completed in 16 days definitely to tell the answer for this question first of all we must find out for how many days did b work to know for how many days did b work we must know how much work did b do to know how much work did b do we must know how much work did a do to know how much work did a do we must know for how many days did a work so you can see they are all interlinked now let us start with a a can complete the total work in 20 days and he is a person who is working from first day till last day and in the question it is given work is completed in 16 days so definitely a is a person who is working for all 16 days now let us try to find out how much work did a do in that 16 days now work done by a in one day is 1 by 20 and in 16 days it should be 16 by 20 now 16 by 20 is 4 by 5 so in all the 16 days a has done four fifth of the work then who has done the remaining work definitely it is done by b and how much is that now a has done four parts out of five parts so definitely b has done one part out of five parts that is b has done one fifth of the work and we already know that b takes 25 days to complete the total work then to do one fifth of the work how many days will he take b to do one fifth of the work he should be taking 1 by 5 into 25 that is 5 days so in all the 16 days b has worked only for 5 days but which 5 days definitely b is working for the last 5 days because b joined after the work started so b joined after how many days it should be 16 minus 5 11 days so the answer for this question is 
11 days. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe at Naresh IT.